guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. So this is going to be a yang reading for May the 14th until the 21st. I hope you're doing well. Um, I think I'm going to do a split yin yang, so I'll just do the yang portion. Um, I think I'm going to use the call it Baron Reed Good Tarot. Then of course for the extended part of the reading I will um, pull three additional cards, the clarifiers. Okay, so let me pull the cards first. So this is how you feel about yourself, how you feel about the other, how you feel about the relationship, what your fears are, what you hope for, Oops. and what will be and one card from the bottom of the deck for the overall energy okay so let's look at the overall energy of the reading so the two of earth so this is shifting this is feeling unsteady feeling pulled in two different directions um, so I think I'm going to just read what the description is for this. So the Two of Pentacles. Okay, so it's um, pleasurable work, adaptability, balance between work and play. So, you know, this is being able to go out with your friends, connect with people, um, while at the same time be able to, you know, maintain your stability at work or, you know, at home, that kind of thing. So you have balance, but you're also feeling a change, feeling things occurring in your environment. You're being tugged on, but yet you're still maintaining balance. Okay, so how do you feel about yourself? The Ace of Air. So the Ace of Swords is all about clear clarity thought, um, making a decision, communication. So it says, destiny and fate, the law of karma, powerful forces of transformation at work and synchronicity. So, yeah, um, in the Twin Flame reading, there was this strong indication of illumination, you know, being conscious, aware. So I feel that strongly. That's how you feel about yourself. You, you're, there's this clarity arising within you. You're making choices. You're being uplifted like this horse. How do you feel about your yin? Patience. Wow. The, show, the patience card showed up uh as a final outcome, I think. Um, or no, it was in the near future on her side. And so there's a sense of her being still, um, not being able to move, feeling stuck. And But in that stillness or stuckness, there's this love that's in her heart with the Two of Cups and manifestation of that love in the future. So she is balanced. She, You see her as being patient, um, you know, being, having temperance, like te being temperate, not overindulging, just being there patiently waiting. And so there's a movement towards her and towards a relationship. So how do you feel about the relationship, the tower? So the tower is sudden disruption, change, um, things happen unexpectedly, but it's, it, this happens so that you can clear away, you know, the falseness and see the reality behind it. 
So this Ace of Swords, um, you're cutting through illusions. You're discovering some truths, illumination. But you feel like things are out of control in terms of relationship. You don't know. You want things to settle. You want um, transformation. Remember, you're bringing the death card into the relationship, into the union for the twin flame. So what do you fear? Love, the strength card. Um, you fear you won't have that connection, that tenderness. But that's how you view the feminine as being patient and temperate and, you know, feeling like you can go to her if you need, um, you know, a shoulder to cry on, if you need to be protected, you know, feel like you're being protected. So you fear that you may not have that connection again. So this is the strength card, or no, no, this is um, the lover's card. So it's very similar to the strength card in that we have a, a woman who is, who has tamed this beast, you know, and when you remove the mask, when you remove the outer, you know, 3D reality, there is only love that you feel with another. And it could be, you know, you know, just with your animal friend. So he fears he won't have that connection. Okay, so um, what does he want? fortune wheel. So the wheel of fortune is destiny. So you want things to change. You want the illusions to come down. You want clarity. You know, you, you feel imbalanced, but you view the feminine as being balanced. You want that harmony again. So you want things to change. You want things to turn in your favor. Right? And we, we see that decision made. You're cutting through barriers. Um, you're allowing transformation. You're not holding on to things. And you're trusting that destiny will bring you what you need. And what will be is the emperor. Absolutely beautiful. So there you are. What's really cool is that you're being represented as the lion, right? The king of the jungle. Um, and over here, you want that connect connectedness. You want to feel power. You know, his power is, comes from authenticity. So that's what will be. Everything will work out. Everything will come to fruition. Very beautiful. Okay, so let me pull one card from, call it Baron Reed. This is Wisdom of the Oracle. Whoa. What final messages do you have for the masculine? Oh, okay, so no place like home in reverse. I just want to check to see if I got the deck upside down. No, I don't. So in reverse. Sometimes I like the messages in reverse. Um, and it kind of delves a little deeper. What number is that? 50. So no place like home. Home, right, is feeling safe, feeling like this, feeling connected. Um, here we have almost like a tower-like displacement of your world turning upside down. So it says authenticity, coming home to yourself, feeling at home, arriving at a place where you just fit, being comfortable in your own skin. So the protection message. There are times when what is familiar and known is not the best choice. Human beings are memory-driven creatures, and we all look for certainty for what we know, even the qualities we seek in other people and in the external conditions are expressed in unhealthy ways. Avoid being too eager to find home. Choose something unfamiliar and trust that there you will find a new normal that supports your spirit. Remember, if you do what you did, um, you'll get what you got. 
do the opposite of what feels right, even if it's uncomfortable, because what feels right is really what feels familiar. And you will attract what you've drawn to the very things you don't want. You, you will attract or be drawn to the very things you don't want anymore. This time will not be any different unless you do something different. Okay, yeah, so this is pointing to wanting something different, wanting change, you know, wanting that comfort, that sense of home, and not being able to attain it, and feeling that things aren't right, and wanting to, to fix it, right? And so the message from the universe is to step out of your comfort zone, you know, like that horse, Pegasus, take flight, be airy, and it's, you know, it's all about consciousness. And so I feel that that's what you're doing. You know, the illusions about the relationship are coming down. Um, and you want to build, a, you know, a real firm, solid home that has that, that homey feel to it. You know, that sense of comfort and belonging. Okay, so um, I hope you enjoyed the reading. And please like, share, uh, comment and subscribe. All right. Cheers.